Hello teacups, what's brewing? We are back with Miss Anne Boleyn. Uh, it's been a little bit of a while since I've sat down and actually watched one of her videos. Uh, I tend to hear a little bit about what's going on with her because obviously there's a lot of overlap between her and foodies content. I did see she'd been back on Jenny Craig and I was like, oh, those generally are videos I like. So I thought we would check in with her. She does much shorter videos than Chantelle does. So it's a nice one to dip into every now and again. We're going to see how this goes. Obviously, it's not her first time with Jenny Craig, uh, but let's see how she's doing. Hey guys, so welcome to a new video. I always forget how loud her intro is. I know you guys are probably rolling your eyes at the title, which I understand. A little bit, like, little bit but you I'm You guys hopeful. see me as this very indecisive person. For a reason. And I am an indecisive person. I live with myself 24 seven. Um, just imagine how Becky feels. Oh, yes, well, I... <laughs> that took 25 seconds. Good job us. Um, a couple of things. Yeah, I did roll my eyes a little bit when I saw Jenny Cray, but I like it when she tries. I like it when she tries. And even though she tends to try the same thing over and over and not change things, which concerns me for her chances of long-term success, uh, it, it's nice to see her trying. So yeah, um, <laughs> I stopped it because there's been a little bit of speculation recently but saying, where's Becky? Where's Becky? Why aren't you wearing your engagement ring? I'm not too concerned about that that much. And this might come back to haunt me if they've ended up like breaking up or something. But she does strike me. <laughs> Maybe this is mean. Apologies if this is mean. She strikes me as the kind of person who see no problem in turning to a loved one and being like, yeah, I don't like this. We should change it. If Becky had bought a ring that wasn't to her taste. They also seem to have quite different tastes. So I could see that being the issue, perhaps. I'm not sure. We obviously have no evidence of that, except Anne Boleyn has not really been wearing it. Also, her audience have been asking about Becky. Becky has apparently, I've not seen that many videos before, been missing from her videos for a little while. She's made a point of mentioning Becky right now, as if to be like, no, no, still here, still here. Whereas personally, I would say, hey, you could have just said, I understand it's been speculation, Becky isn't going to be in videos for X, Y, Z reason. Or, hey, she just doesn't feel like being on camera right now. I know a little while back she, I think she went missing from videos or she was just kind of catatonic in videos. We didn't see very much of her and she was either struggling with her, well, she was struggling with her mental health, definitely. But either she was depressed and it took a while to get her on new meds or she was on new meds for her depression and it was really taking a lot to adjust to them and taking some time so if that's the case I hope that's not the case in this particular moment and that she's not struggling it might just be she doesn't want to be on camera right now but it would be easy enough to say hey I know there's been speculation she, she just doesn't want to be on camera right now rather than being like oh yeah imagine Becky I'm like well we're trying <laughs> we'll be doing Jenny Craig again I love the program the program has actually changed i used to do rapid results but they started rapid results max the differences in that that i have seen and what um I, I just i'm gonna call her my jenny craig coach what she told me is more vegetables on this program and instead of fasting for 12 hours we're now fasting for 14. instead of eating six times a day we're now only eating five there Okay, um, if you're used to Jenny Craig and you want to bump it up a bit, I, I could see those changes being perhaps useful. I don't know the program very well. But my question would be, if she's failed three other times at this, what makes her think that going onto a version of the program that's even more restrictive would necessarily lead to success? She couldn't stick to the one she was on. I seem to remember last time she was on Jenny Craig, she didn't tell people she was stopping Jenny Craig, but she turned up with a Panera mukbang, which was clearly, I'm craving, I'm, you're just her breaking her diet, essentially. And I don't blame her for that. Diets are hard. Diets are hard, and sometimes we cave. But 
to me to say, okay, well, I couldn't stick to the last one, so I'm going to stick to this more super duper strict one, doesn't seem like it's leading her towards success. That being said, one thing that has changed in between last last event, last time and this time, is she's gotten engaged. We don't know, do we know? Have I just missed this? I'm not massive in the Amberverse anymore. But do we know when her wedding is planning on being? That seems like a bit of an awkward way to say that. Does she have a date set yet? Because obviously taking care of her weight is a long-term thing and quite a natural thing for a lot of women when they get married is say, okay, I want to lose some weight to, to get into this dress or to look really nice in the photos or whatever, whether you believe they should do that or not. So I could totally see Anne Boleyn while planning her wedding being like, okay, I want to get more in shape. I want to lose some of these pounds so that I can feel good on my wedding day. That would be a completely fine motivation. And maybe that's what's running this because even if her date ends up being a long way away she she needs the time so maybe that motivation and having that goal in mind will help her here who knows there's a recharge bar um that you get to eat she doesn't like her just, you know a cereal few little changes and she said that actually protein bars doing the rapid results max actually has had quite a few people lose more weight than they were losing um with the program prior I usually oh. have these like... I'm guessing the people who lost weight with the program prior stayed on the program, if, if that's to be believed. I think she did it for six days last time, so consistency would definitely be her friend here on either of the programs, I'm guessing. Weird sit-down videos kind of planned on what I'm going to talk about, but today my brain is literally everywhere but where it needs to be. And it so why did you turn the camera on? Here, now... For this video, but like right. I'm literally everywhere. I. So why are you filming now? You can film any time if you're literally everywhere. Why, why be here? It's frustrating. So I kind Don't of want to talk about what you guys should expect on my channel okay. for the next so and so length of time. So. That was also very telling. If you've got a plan in place and you're like, okay, we're going to do this. You buy Jenny Craig. You know how long you've bought. Oh, actually, no. She signed up for like two years. She told us. She told us. Whether it's true or not, she did tell us she signed up for two years. So is this her unfreezing her membership? In which case, maybe she doesn't have an end date. But if she were making a serious attempt at this, at the very least, she would set a, a number on that she would say okay for the next month for the next week for the next fortnight but the fact that she was like for however long tells me that she's not expecting to finish this i hope she does even if she just said okay for the next week which is i think what she did last time set a number if you're serious because you want to know how even if it's just for a short time you want to know how long you're doing it for as you guys remember, I did do Jenny Craig before, and I you showed you guys what I ate for the first six days of Jenny Craig, when originally mm -hmm. it was supposed to be the first seven days, but then I ended up going on a vacation, kind of and I didn't bring the food with me. It all... I can't remember where she went on vacation, but I can't imagine it was somewhere too far away, because her size does limit the amount she can travel. So my question for that is, why didn't she bring the food with her? It seems like she could have. I'll just level out pretty wrong and I didn't put my health and I didn't put myself first but this time I'm putting myself first and I'm dedicating this first 30 days of Jenny Craig oh 30 days okay just to myself and to my okay that sounds really good I don't know who she was putting first last time was there some kind of family event going on around that time I'm I can't remember exactly in the timeline where it is but I wouldn't say she puts other people first an awful lot. So I'd be interested in just being filled in on who she was putting first last time. My health and to all of the positivity and the success I want, I am dedicating myself to that and not to anything else. Okay, so good. the first 30 days of Jenny Craig, I really, really, really want to film what I ate today for every single day for 30 days. I'm going to be... I don't see that happening. <laughs> Bear in mind, like, when she's done what I eat in a day for one day on her channel, 
she has literally been like, oh, I forgot to film this. Sorry. Oh, I ate this, but I didn't film it. So I don't see her getting 30 days. I do wonder as well. She always tends to start these things saying, I'm going to upload every day. And then she always, always turns around and goes, well, when I said every day, I have filmed every day. I've just put them all into one video. Clearly, that's what I meant and just starts gaslighting people, um, which is one of the things we love so much about her. One of the things we love so much. So whether we actually get daily videos, I would very much doubt after the first few days we'd get daily. It's generally not her way. She doesn't owe us daily. Technically, notice the space she leaves to wriggle out of that in terms of I will film daily, I will show you daily. We'll see. I don't think this is going to end up being daily videos past her initial flush of honeymoon motivation. Taste testing the food. I'm going to do a little bit of like an eat with me moment. I'm going to show you guys what I'm eating. I would like all this and every content, single day, by the way. I also want to show you guys how much weight I am losing. Okay. So with Jenny Craig, they actually want you to weigh yourself daily. I think weighing yourself daily is a lot if you don't have a really strong handle on understanding that it's fluctuates um she does say and again very telling language how much i'm losing you might not lose you might stay the same you might fluctuate up lots of reasons i love weighing in daily it just helps me i know people fluctuate but seeing the overall decline of weight is actually very satisfying i would agree with that i, th I think it definitely is but she has shown before, I can't think of a concrete example right now, I apologize, but I seem to remember in the past her getting frustrated when she was doing the things she was supposed to do and she wasn't seeing a difference because it's natural not to see that difference every day, even at her size. You won't always see a down every day. And I worry that not seeing, especially if she's on track, because if she's on track and she knows she hasn't cheated, then how dare you not come down in, in weight scale? And I understand that as, as an anger. You're like, but I've done the things. Um, but I'd be worried that it would uh, stop her from progressing in other ways and it would frustrate her and she'd stop doing it essentially just as a, an emotional reaction to that. And I like to see, okay, so why did I gain two pounds in one day? Was it She doesn't like to see that. And she doesn't really... Well, or am I retaining water? I like to see those things. Although, yes... Sometimes it can be a bit discouraging, but overall, Jenny yeah, Craig, like it can be. And to my knowledge, she's never really shown much evidence of being able to take the ups as well as the downs. To see the fluctuations, they like you to weigh daily. So I think it'll be really okay, fun follow the program. to also show that in YouTube videos. And I know you guys really did enjoy the six days of what I ate today. On I did. I remember that. So I, I liked feel like it. You guys Oops. are gonna enjoy it again. I literally see the eye rolls. I see you. I mean, you should expect them at this point. Uh, the only thing that would make people roll their eyes more is if she was saying Weight Watchers. Quite frankly, if you would like to stop the eye rolls, prove us all wrong. You are judging me. I know a lot of people are watching right now thinking, okay, well, she's going to fail. She's not going to do this. And that's okay because I'm going into it as positive as I can. I'd like to see her succeed. But I'm also... But for the filming, maybe no. I don't same think way she will. Are. Like, I feel very, like, I don't trust myself. I feel very Fair. dishonest with myself. And That's a weird way to say it. I feel very dishonest with myself. In what way? I'd like that explained a little bit more because she kind of skims over it. That's an odd phrase. It's sitting weirdly with me. And I need to get out of that. And you know what's really sad? I love Becky. She doesn't ever oh, meet There's Becky again. Becky, who's me. definitely here. But this is the fourth time of me trying Jenny Craig. Yeah. And the first three times I completely failed. I had to donate the food because oh further question wasn't all the food frozen why did she need to donate the food like if you, i'm assuming if she got two years you can pause membership at some point most of these programs let you do that so 
why would you need to donate the food unless you couldn't stand it? In which case, again, chances of long-term success, I'm not sure. Apologies for this frame spraying, my love. I um, didn't mean to leave you with your mouth open like that. I genuinely didn't. But you could keep that and eat it. They were breakfast, they were lunches, they were dinners. Yeah, they were snacks. And she claimed, I seem to remember last time, her actually genuinely claiming, whether she did or didn't, to enjoy the food. So you could mix that up with your regular meals if you weren't necessarily staying on program and not waste anything. There's no reason to donate that. I didn't eat it. So when I told Becky, you know, I want to try Jenny Craig again, she said, well, it looks like we're going to be donating some food. She <laughs> didn't say it in the way that you guys are probably like, making it seem, but... The way we're making it seem... <laughs> We're not the ones putting this on the internet. The way you're making it seem sounds a lot like the way it seems to be. <laughs> I mean, fair. I can't blame her. If she said that, I can't blame her for saying it. She's seen you through three lots of this. It just goes to show that even the closest person to me sees how I struggle so badly that I can't even stick to, like, one program. She's here with me 24-7, and she of course. sees but I won't address the fact that everyone wants to know where she is. I'll just constantly mention her to make sure you know, here is this heartwarming? No, heartwarming is not the right word. Here is this story about something Becky said, which also kind of pity me because as much as she's absolutely in love with me, she uh, is it's not being the, the most supportive. She's not really believing in me. So, you know, everyone, Everyone give me support. There's a lot going on in this story. The ins and the outs and the trials and the errors. <laughs> you guys hate when I say trials and errors. So I'll say it. But she's here to see it all. And yep, I don't know, is. when she said that, it, it made me sad. Even though she didn't mean anything vicious, um, I need her to know that she should always be able to talk to me about anything. And if she really doesn't think that I could be successful at something, I want her to be able to tell me that. I'm not- Well, it sounds like she did. And it sounds like you're now making a big deal of it. Again, <laughs> the expression. That's an appropriate expression. I'm proud of that freeze frame. Um, it sounds like she did, and it sounds like you didn't like to hear it. And it doesn't even sound like she was being particularly mean, but hey, oh, we're doing this again? Yeah, it, it didn't work last time. And it didn't work the time before, all the time before. So do your thing, but we're probably going to be donating some food. Saying that she doesn't think I'm going to be successful. Oh my God, I feel like people are going to like listen to this and like twist it. But it's well, like you're hoping they do because you rely on your audience reaction to keep you ticking along. So you're clearly trying to sow the seeds of something here. Like I'm really bad at explaining certain things. Becky I just want you to know that Becky's in my life. She wants me to be healthy. She wants me to live a long life. But she loves you, of but course she But she knows does. that the three times prior, I didn't succeed in Jenny Craig. So True. what makes me think I'm going to succeed in it now? Good question. That's what I've been trying to get out. Do you... I promise this isn't on purpose. Do you have an answer for that, though? Like, oh, it, it, I'm making this sound so bad. It's definitely not Becky. It's definitely not Becky. Let's slide on without answering that, though. Oh, word vomit. And it's true. What am I going to do differently this time? Please tell Why us. Why is it going to be this time Please that I'm successful, us. but the other three times is I Is it your wedding? Like, that different? might be good. I think that I need to find my bigger why. Why do I want to lose weight so badly? And I know it's super easy to live a longer life. No. Yeah, she's about to say no. Why is that not a big enough reason? I don't want to die. That's that's a pretty big reason. I think maybe she needs a more day-to-day -day reason because sometimes the big picture is a little bit too fuzzy and you need definitive things to hold on to. The idea of life and death kind of overshadows it all, but it's easy to to lose track of that in the moment. And something like... A wedding would be a really good concrete uh, event that hopefully, even if she hasn't shown it, has some kind of timeline. So that would be a good thing to work towards. But uh, she has done videos on this before. So <laughs> if she needs, how many times has she done reason videos? 
Oh, dive deeper. Why do you want to live a longer life? I feel like Excuse sometimes me? I answer these questions and they're just so, you know, face value and it's not very like in depth and I don't feel it within my soul. That's because you're quite a shallow person. Your reasons are shallow because you're not particularly deep. So if life and death are not deep enough reasons for you, it's okay to go with the shallow ones. It's okay to say, actually, I want to fit into this outfit. Actually, I want to travel. And I don't even think that's that shallow of a reason. I want to travel and I feel very limited in my current state. You've got a ton of videos. I remember you sitting in your bathroom, changing your outfit, even though you'd filmed it all together. Whatever video that was. I remember you having videos and videos of reasons. If you don't have a deep, meaningful one, okay. Choose the shallow ones that matter to you. Yeah, I want this, I want this, I want pretty things, I wanna travel, I wanna do this, I want people to look at me and think, oh, she's pretty. You get to do that. Personally, like, Becky obviously thinks she's pretty even at this size. So when I say pretty, that is perhaps not a great word to use because I don't want to imply that people at Amber's weight can't be found attractive, yeah? But it's okay to have shallow reasons just as long as they're meaningful to you. It's just the answer that everyone says they want to live longer. So this time I need to figure out why and what am I going to do to make that happen? And I was talking with my consultant and she's teaching me how the problem with Amber and her consultants or her coaches or whatever they call the people on Jenny Craig who are selling you Jenny Craig. The thing she had with Zoom, the thing, Zoom, Zoom. What's the one called that she did? Help me with the name of that. The one that's always being um, advertised on Instagram. The thing she did, I think she had uh, another consultant with Octavia, didn't she? She treats these salespeople as therapists. A deeper reason of why I wanna live and what I wanna do with my life if I manage to make this enormous difficult change and what I can use to mo motivate me is a question for a therapist, not for someone who's trying to shill you more shit. You're not gonna get a deeper meaningful answer from a salesperson. Yeah, that's not the reason they're there. Go talk to your therapist. She does she have one right now? I don't know. But that's a bigger question that maybe you need a little help unpacking. And that's completely fine because you can see her struggling for these reasons. So let's, let's get you a little help with that, yeah? What's meaningful to you? It's a big old question. It's okay if you don't have an answer by yourself and you need help finding it. To stay on track those times where it's so easy to get off track. So I do have people in my corner. I have Becky rooting for me. I have an amazing Clearly. consultant. I have friends Coach. who are supportive okay. it and doesn't... family and people who are rooting for me. Now I just need to root for myself. If their title isn't a therapist, then being your coach or your consultant doesn't really matter. I'm glad even though Becky clearly has her doubts about this program being the one, I'm glad that she does have Becky. I imagine Becky is supportive. I imagine her family and friends want to be supportive. But one thing I would actually agree with her here is that without her being entirely engaged in this, there's only so much anyone around her can do. So she does have to be able to do this herself. So I will be making future Jenny Craig videos and talking Great. more about it. This was just a video to let you guys know that we're doing this again. And yep. one thing that I love about myself, and I hate a lot of things about myself. Um, one thing I love about myself is I never, ever, 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 ever give up. Uh, give up, learn from mistakes. <laughs> it's, it, it's a thin line there. And while perseverance is a wonderful trait, blindness, isn't necessarily i'd love to see a balance there some people i know my life looks like i've completely given up and i get it everyone's life is different and you guys don't know how i feel in here you guys only know 
kind of what I say so, out loud, but you don't you don't feel what I feel. And so in my soul. You're right, we don't. We do not know everything that's going on in her head. We do know what she shows us, and she has a choice over sharing other things with us. It's okay if she doesn't want to, but if we're not seeing something, it's because she's not showing it. So that's that's something, if she doesn't like how we're interpreting what we see, she is in control of what we see. Something I do feel and something I do know is that I don't give up, I won't give up, it's never gonna happen. So yeah, I'm not sure what else to say, okay. I feel like I'm all over the place, yeah. but... I don't think you feel that way, I think you're looking for anything because you're feeling a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah, expect some Jenny Craig videos coming oh, right I'm at your I'm sure way. you'll blow Hope our you expectations out the water. The one. Bye. Okay, bye bye uh, I hope she is successful. At the very least, this should be a few days of content. Sorry, this sounds so bad for whenever she gives up. <laughs> Please prove me wrong. She said 30 days. There is no way in God's green earth she is going to film every day for 30 days. She has tried it in Vlogmas. She's tried it in Vlogtober. She's tried it for challenges. She has never managed it. But even if we get montage videos of her filming every day, that would be pretty good. So I'll be somewhat realistic in my expectations, but it's actually com uh, content I would be interested in seeing. All right, guys, I will talk to you soon. Have a lovely night. Bye-bye, everybody.